In this video, we'll be talking about moving averages as one of our methods for forecasting. Essentially, with moving averages, what we look at is we say, let's take an average of the previous certain number of periods, right? Whether it's three periods and we're going to say, okay, let's take a look at just the last quarter um, or, or whatever it is, um, or maybe we're going to do the last six periods or, or maybe even 12 periods, and then we're going to essentially just say, okay, let's average all those and then let's let's move on. And so in this example, what we'll do is we'll look at the previous three periods. And so the first period that we'll actually be able to forecast using a three period moving average would of course be the fourth period. And so we'll just come in here and we will take a look at the average of periods one through three. And, uh, and again, over here in the right-hand column, or in column F, what we've got is we've got the percent difference between the forecast and what our actual number was, um, our actual sales. So the data that we've got here um, is data from a, a small product line at one specific location. And, uh, and so what we're looking at with, um, with the numbers is essentially the percent difference says that our, our actual sales were 24% greater than um, than what we forecast that they were going to be. And so we'll go ahead and we'll drag this down and we'll see how this compares to the naive approach that we had mentioned in a previous video. And so as we take a look through the percent difference, we've still got some pretty large percent differences. Um, this is notably one of the largest here. So 94% difference between what we had um, what we had done here as well as the other. Now, one of the reasons that a moving average might be this far off, you know, 100% off um, or things is uh, specifically for this product line, we are looking at um, we're looking at some seasonal data, and so a moving average wouldn't um, wouldn't show us year over year growth. It uh, it would probably just show us, of course, the last few periods, and then let's average those few periods. Um, and so some of the things that you can do, of course, with moving averages is is you might take a look at okay, what was period one last year? the year after that and the year after that. Another thing that you could do with moving averages is you could do a weighted average and say, okay, the most recent period, based on our growth trend or our growth trajectory here, the most recent period, we're gonna weight that 50% of the total. And then we're gonna give a 30% of the total and maybe 20% of the total. So we could do a weighted average as we uh, as we do some forecasting and that'd probably get us a little bit closer to being more accurate. But uh, essentially, that is moving averages and the method of uh, or at least the basic method of using moving averages for forecasting. Thanks for joining us. Uh, take a look at a couple of our other videos. Comment in the, sec uh, the, the section below or, uh, or ask some questions if you've got questions and look forward to hearing your, uh, your responses on this. Thanks again.